We got a new pen for the iPad today. A new pen, right here. Look at that, new pen. Pencil? Pencil, I guess, not a pen. Pencil. Oh, it says pen. It says pen on the website, stylus pen. Is it any good? Is it any good? That's the question. This thing is coming in, just so you guys know, at 49 bucks. So that's over half the price of an actual Apple Pencil. That's half the price of an Apple Pencil Series 1. So is it worth saving the money? We're gonna find out right now. Okay guys, so here it is on Amazon. Amazon has this right now again, $49.99. And it's getting four and a half stars, so that's that's fantastic. So what is it? A stylus pen for iPad, Z Speed second gen iPad pencil with palm rejection for drawing and handwriting compatible with Apple iPad Pro 2018. Pretty much any of the iPads that are compatible with the Apple Pencil Series 1. So what does it say? Accurate and smooth, palm rejection, no glove needed, higher compatibility, uh, what does it say? Z Speed Active Stylus is designed for Apple iPad, compatible with the most models. Cool. Touch activated and 20 hour working time. Lightly tap the touch control on the top of the pen to turn on off. No Bluetooth required. This seems, I don't know if you guys have seen this, there's the Crayon, I think it is. I can't remember who it's by. Seems very similar kind of to that because that had a very similar kind of concept as well this being even cheaper than that one so that's kind of cool anything else in here no it's really just talking about the Z speed versus the Apple pencil first generation and second generation all right let's 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 crack it open okay so here it is here it is right here box box looks like the Apple pencil box right except that it doesn't have an Apple pencil and has a Z speed pen on it which is cool professional stylus pen model I can't tell if that's 1606 or I606. One of the two. Doesn't really matter. Okay, let's 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 crack it open, shall we? Oh, it just pushes open. There we go. Okay. That's it. We'll just slide that up there. So we do get a user manual inside here, which is good. What I like about this is that they didn't make this crazy small. They made it big enough for you and I to be able to read it. So it's a single page, just like that. Comes in. A whole bunch of languages and really what language is my language more languages I'm hoping on there we go okay <laughs> I'm like any of them mine all right here there you go getting started how to do it usage and contact so really it's just this little section right here that's the, the manual you can charge the stylus in three methods charge via computer or tablet charge via power bank or charge via a 5 volt 1 amp injector I'm not even sure what that is Usage, press the power button, blue light turns on, now the stylus entering working mode. Stylus is ready to use. All right, okay. Well, that seems super simple. Oh, that's it. You get a spare little nib, little tip. You get one, so don't lose that because just like the Apple Pencil, these do wear out over time. There is your USB charger. Now this is, oh, USB-C. That's excellent, USB-C. Fantastic, nice. And, we get the pencil and it looks like it's already lit up that's cool all right let's move this over i'm gonna put that back in there so i don't lose it now the one thing different than say an apple pencil is that it does have a charging cable so because it has a charging cable you have to carry that with you whereas an apple pencil series one you just plug into the lightning port and series two with an ipad pro it would magnetically click to the top and you and i would be able to just attach it and it would charge there. So let's go in here right now. I got my iPad out. First off, if we go into something like notes and we create a new note. Now there's a little pencil guy at the bottom. So we're in a new note. Oh, I tap on here. Hello. Oh, come on, now that works good. Now the one thing you will notice is that it doesn't have certain things that an Apple would have, like it doesn't have pressure sensitivity and things like that so but still that's really nice it's a little smiley face cool All right hi um, you can see how crappy my writing is how are you well that works really nice that works good so, okay so that's a note done 
So let's go into an actual, let's see, a drawing application. So if I had Procreate, for instance. No, I can't, I can't draw it overly good, but you're gonna get the idea. So we'll just do one of these. Got my pencil. This up. So this all works, you know, very similar again. So I'm gonna do a little blue line. We'll pick my brush. Tactical, oh, let's go, let's go, I don't know, painting with acrylic. Sure, change that up, so we'll do that. Do a color there, right, so. Palm rejection, so you see this is now not doing anything with my hand, which is cool, and I can sit here and, and draw, right? Now, be aware, it doesn't matter. Oh, what happened there? There is, I don't know what that does. I don't know if you can see this. There is, there is a, the tip does push in, like it pushes in. So when you, I'm not, I'm not sure what that push in does. So here you could change how big it is and kind of just do this. The Apple Pencil, of course, does have some pressure sensitivity, which is good. Now I'm curious to see what that push in does, because there's a push, there's different levels of push. So if I, am I real light on here? Versus, nah, see, it doesn't really matter if I'm light or dark, it just seems to be the same. Angles. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't really have any of that kind of information. Now if I push harder. I'm not sure what the push does. But, still cool. I, I'm gonna see, maybe there's something in the manual here. Okay, so the only thing that it says in the manual here, hopefully you guys can see the pencil, is on the top here, there's a little blue light up the top, and this little blue light tells you it's on. There's a little button beside it, of course, and if you were to tap on that button, it would turn off. Now, it also turns off, it says, after five minutes of inactivity. So, it's kind of like a dinosaur, right? A little... <laughs> Not really. No, I can't drop at all. Very good. But, still cool. So let's say, and I see this with a lot of people, let's say you're a person that says, pencil, cool, 120, 100, whatever dollars it is for the Apple Pencil. I'm like, well, I guess, but I'm only gonna really be using it for, you know, little s sketches like this or note taking or, especially if you're, I don't know, a student and you're, you're not an artist like myself and you want to be able to write notes, you want to be able to do things like that. I think this is really good. Or if you have, for instance, someone at home that would like to get into drawing or they think, hey, maybe I'd like to draw, but I don't need the accuracy and precision of an actual Apple Pencil. I'd rather save a couple bucks right now just to see if I'm actually interested in this whole drawing thing. Because maybe I'm not and that's a big investment. And I get it, it is a big investment. 49 bucks, a little easier to swallow. So I think this is really cool. Now, of course, the other thing is that if you have an Apple Pencil slot or spot, this hopefully, yep, fits right in there. Right, I have one on this. So lights off, we're good, off to sleep, and uh, we're ready to rock and roll for the day. 49 bucks, that's, that's a lot more reasonable for a lot of people that don't necessarily need all the features that come with the Apple Pencil. If you're a person that's just looking for something to draw, to write notes, to do some scribbling, I think this this is this is a great a great alternative for that. Is it as good as the Apple Pencil? No, but it's also less than half the price. That's 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 a great trade-off. All right, guys, that's that's it for today. There it is. This is this is the Z Speed Z Speed Professional Stylus Pen for the iPad. Yeah, no, that's cool. Oh, this, this isn't actually a button. Haha, <laughs> just so you know, because I was touching up here and it opened. So you just kind of touch it and it opens. This, if you peel off, is the USB-C charger. That's what that is. That makes way more sense. Way more sense. Pop that back in there. You're good to go. It's the top, I think, that, yeah, see, it's the top. On, top, on, top. That little eraser head, on, top. Haha, <laughs> learning stuff. Learning stuff's good. Make sure you stay to the end of the videos because you just never know if I'm going to find something out that was like, what is that? Those that stuck around, good on you. All right, my friends, I'm going to leave you there. Link down below if you guys are interested in this little pencil, pen, whatever. And uh, 
I'm gonna leave you there. Like, comment, share, and subscribe as per the usual, my friends. And we'll see you in the next video. Later, guys.